Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper, and in this video today we're going to demonstrate to you how one way you can make a portable emergency water filter to filter water on the go. So I've recruited Luke's help today, and I'm going to demonstrate the stuff as, uh, as uh, Brian's taking it and putting it together as the water filter component. Okay, now we're going to start off with, you've got a six inch piece of one inch diameter PVC pipe, and you're going to need two end caps for that. Now what I did is I took the end caps, and I took these Coke bottle caps here, and you turn them upside down, and you just trace a line around that, and we used a spade bit to drill that out. And then we used a Dremel with a sanding bit to smooth it out and make it almost uh, perfectly diameter for the cap. And you can see right here what I did. I went ahead and done this one so I could show you. Just take the cap, and once you push that bottle in there and get it seated, make sure it fits right. Take that back out. Get some PVC glue and cleaner. And you can uh, take that and you just swab the inside of that and around your cap. Make sure it's clean. There's no dirt and debris on there because that can impede your seal. And then you'll put the glue on them and you're going to have this cap screwed back on your bottle. You apply the glue to your PVC cap on the inside of this hole and on the outside of your bottle cap and you're just going to press them in there and let that dry. And I also took a 1 8 inch drill bit and I drilled three holes inside this cap. Uh, you probably can't see it from there but you'll be able to see it a little better on here. I drilled two into this one. Now the reason I have a clear bottle and a green bottle, the green bottle will always be the one that I take the water I'm filtering in because it's darker it's dirty water. When it filters through and it comes out into the clear bottle, I'll be able to see if there's still anything in that water. It'll let me know if my filter's malfunctioned. Now, the things that we're going to use, this is activated carbon, and this kills uh, a lot of the uh, bacterias and uh, removes uh, moves some of the finer things like ciprosporidium and gyridia. That's the word I was looking for, ciprosporidium. It removes that out of the water. They use that in uh, aquariums, fish tanks, things like that. And right here we have cleaned. This is like play sand grade, so it's larger particles, not powder. And that's going to be like a particle filter. What that'll do is if I take some of this, it'll help catch a lot of that particle that's built up in there. And as a pretty much our cap in cotton. What that's going to do is that's going to keep any of that sand or that activated carbon from being able to get in through these holes into your caps and come out and do your bottles. And what you'll do is where I've got this one inserted, cotton ball or two in there, and the same on this end, you're good to go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start off I'm going to go ahead and place this one on. And I'm going to take some cotton cram those down through the tube. The reason I don't put those in the cap before I put the cap onto the pipe is because what can happen is if any of those fibers are around there and I insert this cap onto my pipe it's going to get bound inside there and then I won't be able to remove this later to change out my filler. That's why I do that. Now I'm going to take activated carbon and we'll fill it most of the way up with activated carbon. Activated carbon does last a very long time. One of these canisters right here is enough to filter well over 5,000 gallons of water before it has to be changed. And once I've got that down in there, I'm just going to kind of push and try to pack that in, get that cotton pushed back down in there. And as you can see, now I have more space, so I'm just going to add more of this. If you have a funnel, that works. Let's see if I push this down anymore. Okay, I'm starting to get some resistance on it, so that's good. Get it pushed in there good and tight. Now, I'm going to take this sand. The sand is kind of my larger particle catch, so say this algae, anything like that, that's going to start getting that and keep it from clogging up my activated carbon. And again, once I get that up to the top, use a hand push, make sure it's not going down a bunch. It's good, cap it off. Now, 
we'll take this. Put that on. More cotton. And this is how we avoid getting this end bound up. We're just going to pre-insert the cotton. And then we're going to put our cap in there. Now that I have some... I've already pre-cleaned these. Now all I gotta do is add the cement. Well, you don't want to get it all over your cap up here. You just want the end. About half the cap is all that's going to be inserted in that. So that's what you want to do is only coat about half of it. And you want to coat it kind of thick because these ribs that are on these bottle caps will create air pockets. And you want to try to avoid that. That way you get a good seal all the way around. Thank you, Luke. Yes, sir. And there you go. Now what that'll do is you can take little screw eyelets, which I don't have out here with me, but you can take those at a later time. You just put one in here, one in here, and you can put a little cord or whatever. And what you can do is you take this bottle, you get your water in there, you're going to screw it on. You tip it up and you can hang this off your pack. And that way as you're on the move, this is still feeding and filtering water for you. You want to try it out? Let's do it. You can see Brian's getting the worst part of the water. We're making sure to get the algae and all this that's around the buildup so there's no faking it. Now you can see this is going to take a little while. You see these little air bubbles that just gradually start working their way up in there. Now as you're walking, that's going to move that and you can see it does it a little faster. So as you're walking, that's gradually going to take effect. Now it will be a while before it starts coming down, gets through all that sand, gets through that carbon, and then gets through the next cotton filter. So as you walk though, when this thing gets jarred around, that speeds up that process. And that's why it filters as you go. So let's just give this a little while to work its way through and then we'll see what it looks like. As you can see, that was uh, what we're filtering right here. It's already coming out. You can see how clear that is? And this is what it came from. Now, later on, what we're going to do is make a, cer a ceramic bulb filter that's going to cap the end of it, and that'll actually make it safe to drink straight out of the bottle. But if this is all you've got for right now, I would still boil the water afterward just in case, and that'll kill any bacteria that still could be in there. Now when you glue these, you want to give them adequate time to dry. As we kind of rushed this just to give you an idea as to how it works. So there is a little bit of leakage on this one. And what we'll do is we'll go back and I'll re-clean those and glue them again and let them actually dry. And then it won't have any leak and all this will end up in here. So we hope this has been a help to you. And one day this might save your life. So until we see you again, have a most blessed day in your Hoshua name.